which is the most important house of the horoscope if this is the question the answer is undoubtedly the ascendant or the first house though there are many different type of ascendants at least 16 17 different types of ascendants are there and the understanding of this ascendants to the common astrological world is very scanty and poor in fact many a times wrong understanding is there i am saying wrong understanding because it is not supported by classics it is not supported by sages neither it works into experience but in kali yuga there is there are plenty of astrologers or people in a stead who just after look just looking after two three horoscopes make conclusion and then pose themselves like they are the most enlightened being in this world because no one wants to realize that they are ignorant ignorant towards reality however whether the realization is true or false for to the native we don't worry much about it we astrologers have a horoscope and we can peep into the reality right so those who are having misconceptions about themselves don't know astrology well however coming back to the ascendant there are as i told you 16 17 types of ascendants are there all of them have different uses but most important is the ascendant of your birth chart the ascendant which is rising at the horizon in the eastern direction at your birth time and this is the only thing which differentiates different people see if you say today right now if someone is born in different different parts of the world what will differentiate them of course the planetary posi- planetary position in rashis will remain the same the ascendant only will change and this ascendant is decided as per the sunrise time right sun is on a particular degree on a particular date that is fixed in the 365 days of the year sun traverses the 360 degrees of the zodiac at the time of sunrise the degree of the sun and the degree of the ascendant is identical and as the time passes by with the movement of sun through the horoscope the ascendant keeps on change so the differentiating factor between people born all over the world at the same point of time is time and this time decides where will be sun in your horoscope and this sun technically decides where will be your ascendant so for this particular reason it is very natural that sun is taken as a significator for ascendant but why this ascendant is so important because there is a very basic principle in astrology very ignored not much understood but very crucial principle many a times you see people become very successful even after coming from humble backgrounds sometime people show their abilities well and they take their families to the next level at other point of time sometime you see that the life is only story of struggle some other place at some other cases you see that though person is born in a good or a prosperous family he destroys everything so what makes the life worth living it is ascendant which makes the life worth living if ascendant is powerful success is certain if ascendant is powerful only then the life is worth living for those whose ascendant or ascendant lord is not powerful their life is not worth living success is not there and you know success is a very big word it is materialistic success financial success technically success is anything that one desires the ability to have it is success then i will not put success into standards like earning more money is success or having a peaceful family is success no your concept of success can be entirely different but whatever your concept is whether you will be able to fulfill that whether you will be able to meet that is what is actual success and lagna ascendant primarily decides the success 10th house is only secondary indicative of success so ascendant should be powerful if you want the life to be worth living ascendant should be powerful if you want the person to have a successful life to have whatever they think is worth having in life now how the ascendant will become powerful one basic principle you should understand hora swami guru divikshit yada drishta nanyascha viryotkata that is a particular shloka which tells you that when a house is influenced by affected or conjoined by the house lord jupiter or mercury then the house is powerful you can add venus into this list 
So you can put it that when a house or a Rashi is expected by Lord of the Rashi, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, the Rashi is powerful. If this is happening to the ascendant, ascendant should be considered as powerful. Otherwise not. Nanyascheh Viryutkata means otherwise not. Secondarily, talking of the ascendant lord, because I am talking about both things, ascendant or ascendant lord should be powerful. Now, technically, ascendant lord will be a planet. If that planet is into a good Rashi, exaltation Rashi, Mulutrikona Rashi, Ona Rashi, Vargottam Rashi, or it is having directional strength, that is Jupiter, Mercury in the ascendant, Sun, Mars in the 10th house, Saturn in the 7th house, Moon, Venus in the 4th house, then the ascendant lord, be, ascendant lord should be considered to be powerful. Only in that case, when the ascendant is powerful, as I told you, life is successful and life is worth living. Not only that, what I have seen that those who have a very afflicted ascendant and very afflicted ascendant lord, that means ascendant is not powerful. I will be referring to it as ascendant is not powerful. That analyzing the house lord is a very crucial uh, factor of analyzing a house itself. So I will save myself from mentioning ascendant and ascendant lord over and over again. Right, maybe you should have this level of understanding if you are watching my videos. Of course, my videos are not very much for very beginners. Those who have at least spent four or five months in astrology, they, those who have some serious level of fundamental understanding, only they can go with it, right? That's a very basic point, right? So what I have seen, two things are there. If the ascendant is not powerful, in that particular scenario, you see the person can be intelligent because of fifth house. The person can otherwise have things in life also because of 10th house. But even in that case, if the ascendant is not powerful in that particular scenario, what I have seen that the life is troubled. It is troubled because of disease. It is troubled because of family disputes. It is troubled because of marriage, whatever X, Y, Z. But the person is not able to enjoy life completely. Until and unless the ascendant is powerful, other house lords can become powerful and they can give you things related to those particular houses. But if the ascendant is not powerful in that particular scenario, you will not be able to enjoy that. This lack of enjoyment can be because of disease, marital discord, family problems, multiple things. Right. Secondarily, what I have seen many a times say, if you say someone is having wealth combination, so they will have wealth in life. Yes, of course, yes. But there can be two things. Person have wealth and person is able to enjoy it. Person is born into a rich family, so there is wealth around or person is friends to wealthy people. So there is wealth around, but person actually cannot enjoy it directly. He is not having freedom to enjoy it. He is just a secondary beneficiary with the wealth or any other thing for that matter. This also happens when the ascendant is not powerful. Right. So you need a powerful ascendant and ascendant lord for success to be there, for the life to be worth living. And for you to have freedom in life, at least things which are to be enjoyed, things which are worthy of enjoyment should be enjoyed by you. Right. You should have freedom to enjoy. Ascendant gives you that. In this particular manner, ascendant is the most crucial house to be analyzed. I will go on to saying that if the ascendant is not powerful in that particular scenario, looking at horoscope is not worthy. It is unworthy. Why unworthy? Because first of all, you see ascendant is also intelligence. So person is not intelligent enough. He is not able to understand things. In fact, ascendant also indicates working on yourself. So if the ascendant and ascendant lord is not powerful, if you, first of all, person is not intelligent, he is naturally not understanding what is good for them, what is bad for them. And in this particular scenario, it is very probable that whatever good advice you will give to them, they will not listen to it. Secondarily, because ascendant also indicates working on yourself because these people do not want to work on themselves because these people are lazy or don't worry about themselves. Even the best of the advice will be of no use if the person is not implementing. Instead, if the ascendant is powerful person have a very separate personality, very strong personality where the person can live alone also, can leave everything just to pursue what they want, just to pursue what they believe in. But if ascendant is weak, 
then this is also not true in this particular scenario because of friend circle because of family one excuse or the other the person will show but he will only give excuses but will not implement what is good for them will not implement the advice of astrologer and because lagna also indicates the capacity to work success because success is not there it is futile to give any advice to such people they will not follow it generally week ascendant you will see confused people when they come across a good astrologer the good astrologer gives them a good advice they don't listen to it what do they do they try to go and find other astrologers they don't realize that they don't know astrology they are you know they, they don't realize that they are just mean on listening what they want to listen and they are not mean on listening the truth such people generally you will see go from one astrologer to another astrologer because they want to hear what is in their mind and they don't want to listen to the actual truth slowly slowly because any good astrologer will not tell you what you want to listen but only will tell you truth so then they will become frustrated and they will try to learn astrology themselves in that also they will not they will not succeed right their only focus will be their own horoscope in that also they will not see the horoscope with unbiased mind they will want to see only what they want to see and they will search for combinations related to that only all right and then these are the people who just based on one horoscope keeps on uh, you know commenting and thinking that they are very expert astrologers though leave about astrology and leave about predictions even making a definite conclusion based on unbiased analysis of all the rules and formulas that they know is even not possible for them so for this particular reason to my astrologer friends and to fellow astrologers i strongly advise that those who have a very weak ascendant their horoscope is unworthy of analysis point 1 secondarily even if you analyze their horoscope just give them predictions and this particular thought that we will recommend something good to the person we will give some idea to the person and the person will implement the idea and their life will become better is futile their life will never become better right this also means that if you are going to give any advice to the person or if you are going to give any remedy to the person it is best first to strengthen the ascendant because once the ascendant is strengthened only then it will be there that the person will work on themselves the person will listen to the good advice there will be success in life the life will be worth living so the first thing that you should do is strengthen your ascendant and because ascendant lord is a very beneficial planet from wearing the gemstone of the planet to worshiping the deity related to the planet to donating for the planet to chanting the mantra related to the planet all of these any of these things can be applied now some people may ask sir ascendant lord is a good planet so why we should donate for ascendant lord some people may have this question they should ask themselves that whether they have more astrology experience or i have more astrology experience or do they think that i have told anything in the flow without realizing what i am talking about they should ask these things to themselves before writing a comment that sir can we really donate for the ascendant lord i have heard something here i have heard something there if you listen to multiple advices you will go nowhere because you are listening to many the secret of success i am not telling you follow me i will not tell you follow someone i will not give you such recommendations but whomever you follow follow one person this is the path to success if you follow follow one stream right if someone says that i follow hinduism also i follow christianity also i follow islam also i follow all the religions do they think that they will be able to live life in that way which is proposed by the religions certainly not of course not such people have a very weak ascendant because they are not able to decide which one i should follow that listening to multiple opinions not having any of their own thought they cannot realize which statement is contradictory they cannot realize which statement is illogical such people also become very easy prey because they are not having their mind and intelligence and understanding they generally go behind this is cheap let's do this this is easy let's do this let's do this to kill our time let's do this to entertain ourselves because they are not realizing what is the purpose right generally such people they will enroll into a course just to waste their time not realizing that if you are wasting time time will ultimately waste you not realizing that you should give time and effort only on those things that you really want to pursue right so such problems are there and these can be removed only by rectifying the ascendant and uh, uh, making the ascendant powerful and until and unless you do that you see your own habits 
I have given you the traits. Your own habits will become detrimental and will become hurdle to your success. This is something that should be very clearly understood. I can go on talking about these things, but I think this much hint is enough. Multiple other things you can add into it, right? So that is a point. Now going further than this, ascendant is also very crucial for name fame status, right? If the ascendant is powerful, because first of all, the person is successful. Successful people will be well known also, at least in their family, in their neighborhood, they will be well known, right? Other than that also, name, fame, status, recognition comes from the ascendant. A powerful ascendant makes you famous. Most importantly, if the ascendant is connected to Jupiter or moon, it makes you very famous. Otherwise, also considering all other fundas, ascendant is connected by ascendant lord, Venus, Mercury. Or ascendant lord is otherwise powerful being in own Rashi, Vargottam, Multricon, etc. The person is popular. The person is famous. For high level of popularity and fame, either moon or Jupiter should be connected to the ascendant, ascendant or the ascendant lord should be connected to moon or Jupiter. It gives high level of fame. Talking of fame, one more combination is that Venus-Moon connection. Venus-Moon connection also makes you very famous. And the speciality with Venus-Moon combination, mutual aspect or conjunction with each other is that there is diehard following. So ascendant lord being powerful, ascendant being powerful in other cases, except for ascendant influenced by Moon and Jupiter, makes you normally famous, normally popular. You are recognized in society. You are recognized in your family. Right. You, you are, you know, recognized as a good professional. 80% of the time, profession or uh, fame only comes with respect to what the person is doing. Right. If someone becomes very popular, very famous, they are generally known because of their work only. Right. No one becomes famous for their personality or anything as such. Right. Rarely it happens nowadays that someone only becomes famous because they are very great donor. Someone becomes famous that they are very beautiful. They become famous because of this. These things generally does not happen, right? There are, you know, in, in this area, one uh, many people are more better than you, right? So th this is nothing. Generally, popularity is because of profession, right? So in this case, you are recognized. In the case of ascendant being influenced by moon and Jupiter, you are very, very popular. So international level of fame is there. Much fame is there. Very strong fame is there. But it is like, you know, people are following you. Many good, good number of people are following you. In the first case, good number of people are following you. In the ascendant influenced by moon and Jupiter, very good number, very strong number of people are following you. But in this Vaitanic yoke combination, that is moon and Venus connected to each other, there is a diehard following. Diehard following means people are mad behind you. They can do anything that you are saying them to do. They will leave their logical mind apart. They will stop listening to anyone else just to do what you have told them to do. Right. So this is speciality with this a particular combination. Right. Here, you know, people are like, you know, this is a particular case where people are standing, you know, three, four hours waiting, three, four hours in front of your gate to just meet you. Right. Or this particular case that someone have traveled 4,000, 5,000 kilometers on foot just to meet the person. This level of great level of fame where there is a great connect with people where people really want to become like you, not, not a not normal popularity. Right. When people are following your car and this kind of case, this generally happens when moon and Venus are connected to each other. If they are also powerful, then this combination becomes very much power, very much strong. If moon and Venus are connected, but both of them are weak, then the combination is useless and futile because weak planets cannot produce their result, right? This is very basics of astrology. And I don't think I should repeat this in every video after every sentence, right? Because just watching one video will not make you an astrologer. You should watch all of my videos, develop an understanding and should try to see how I look at things. And after that, when you read it, when you read a horoscope, you will be able to make some successful predictions, right? Only watching... One video and thinking that you will be able to apply it and make predictions is a futile exercise. Any uh, and any stream of education, if you take, do you think that only attending one class 
out of three year course of bachelor in business administration bva will make you a good businessman if you think that check your ascendant another thing that is there see ascendant also indicates health this point i have also mentioned before i will mention it again that if the ascendant is not powerful if the ascendant lord is not powerful then the person is not having good health in this particular scenario see everyone have disease there is no one who is free from disease but these people who have a weak ascendant and weak ascendant lord first of all they fall ill very often second when they fall ill they remain ill bedridden for long this also create great disturbances in their life first of all it hinders their enjoyment of life it hinders their enjoyment of happiness and all of these things secondarily for normal people it also means that you know you are forced to leave your job you are forced to discontinue your work and this gives you setback in life as well right so this is also a very important point and adding to this now any planet which is connected to ascendant is generally beneficial planet specifically the one who is situated in the ascendant because ascendant is see kendra and kona when it meets kendra houses quadrant houses 1 4 7 10 and kona houses 1 5 9 houses when they meet they make a raja yoga and the planet who is lord of both kendra and kona is raja yoga karak planet so ascendant will always be a raja yoga kari because ascendant is kendra and kona both do a planet cannot be situated in kendra and kona both houses but keeping in mind that if a planet lords kendra and kona both he becomes rajyogkari we can also say that if a planet is situated in both kendra and kona he also becomes rajyogkari if a planet is situated in the ascendant he will be sitting in a kendra also and in a kona also so planet in the ascendant also becomes rajyogkari and because it is rajyogkari following the planets following the planet you know like getting the color of the planet wearing the gemstone of the planet having nature behavior character like the planet is a sure shot way to success in life that one should follow point 1 second thing that is there but in the matters of health you you see all planets have a particular type of nature right if ascendant is connected to and this connection is both related to aspect and conjunction in the previous case where i was talking of raj yoga ascendant of naturally giving you raj yoga i am only talking about planet situated in the ascendant if there is any you should follow the planet and it will be greatly beneficial for you it will activate raj yoga in your horoscope and raj yoga is equal to success dhan yoga is equal to wealth this is something that you should clearly understand and have no confusion into it but in the second case planet situated in the ascendant planet aspecting the ascendant both things are true now if the planet influencing the ascendant is a benefic planet natural benefic in this particular scenario strength related to that planet will be there but you see every planet indicates something for example you say jupiter is connected to ascendant so jupiter akash tatva and jupiter is having phlegmatic temperament basically so phlegm and akash tatva will be the power but the just opposite to akash tatva inimical to akash tatva vayu tatva can be problematic and just opposite of phlegm bile will be a problem for the native if a malefic planet is connected to ascendant you say saturn then because it is a malefic naturally not very good for the ascendant in that particular scenario because saturn is a vat planet then air and because saturn is a airy planet as well so airy and vat both is air so airy problems are there for the native health problems related to vat or health problems related to air the person suffers now because saturn is also the karak for cold and you say saturn is connected to ascendant and it is a malefic so cold is not good for the person right so sensitivity in teeth because of drinking very cold water being very susceptible to cold cup cold such issues are there so this is also one thing that you should keep in mind because there is no person who is not having a single disease right every person have to have disease we say that disease is the dharma of body body have to go through disease there is no two thought into it right 
Now, if a malefic planet is connected to the ascendant in that particular scenario, there is disease related to the signification of that particular planet or things related to that particular planet can be problematic for the health of the native. One should be careful about it. In case of a benefic planet, though benefics are not bad when they are connected to ascendant, you have to find their biggest enemy. For example, if uh, you say Mercury is connected to ascendant, then you, Mercury is a benefic planet. So you find the biggest enemy of Mercury, that is Mars. So in case where Mercury is connected to ascendant, health problems related to Mars is there naturally for the native as a dharma of the body. And this is something about which the native should be careful. Right, that's the point. One more very important point. Another thing you see, as I have already told you, independence in life, authority to do anything, you know, special particular thinking, good ideas, intelligence, this comes from ascendant. So when ascendant is powerful, the person is authoritative. He has some control in life. He is the chief in family. That means he's successful. He earns well. So, you know, he's having some control in the family. The person is independent. He have independent thinking. Also, the person is intelligent. And this is good. When the ascendant is weak, the person is not authoritative. Not authoritative means what? In family, no one is listening to him. Now you think why people may not be listening to him. Maybe because he's living in a joint family. He's an unsuccessful person. So why anyone will listen to him? Or because he have not done something significant. So why people will listen to him? So these problem come unsuccessful. If the person is unsuccessful, no one will listen to him. That's the basic thing that it gives. We have already explained that. Independence is also not there. If the Lagna Lord is powerful, person is independent to do anything in life. That means he is having authority. He is having power. He is having wealth. Whatever he wants to do, he can do. If the ascendant is not powerful in that particular scenario, person is not authoritative. That means his life is completely struck by multiple things. So, you know, you generally must have heard from people that, you know, I cannot change my job because I have this responsibility. I cannot do this because I have that responsibility. All these things only comes when the ascendant is weak. In that particular scenario, person is not having any type of freedom or independence in their life. And yeah, person is not having any type of freedom or independence in their life and their life is very much dependent on multiple other things. So you say the quality of life is not very good. Majboor. This is a person under pressure. His life is very interdependent. Another thing is there's intelligence you cannot expect from such people. According to me, if someone who is having a weak ascendant, you know, mistreats you or says something bad to you, you should not be angry on them because they are not intelligent. You should. All right. Now, this lack of intelligence, you see in life, many a times what happens, we do, I do consultations. And sometimes, you know, we think that why someone have done that? This is a very self-detrimental step. Why someone will do this? You know, such things. Many a times you will listen that someone was having a very good life partner, but they did not treat them well. Their marriage broke. Now the person got married another time and now they are suffering in the hands of their life partner. So as a normal person, you think, you talk that why someone will treat bad to their first life partner when they are so very good. Why anyone will take divorce from them when they are beautiful looking also, when they are decent as well. They are having all good traits. So a foolish person will do. A foolish person will do such things. What is a trait of a foolish person? Suppose one person, take an example. A person had a good life partner. The life partner was beautiful also. Right? From what I have heard from others. I'm just giving you a certain example. The life partner was beautiful also. The life partner was obedient as well. The life partner was, first of all, learned also. If told, she could work also. Other than that, she was very obedient to the family members as well. And she was genuinely loving her husband and husband, the native. She was genuinely loving the native and was ready to do all sacrifices for the native. But native somehow was not very much into love with the girl. And because of some reason or the other, he did not 
wanted to like from the day one he did not like the life partner only because how she dresses up because she was uh you know like she was love being dressed in uh, traditional indian attire which the native did not like he wanted a modern life partner but up now you see this is very small thing you can just simply say the native to do that but instead of doing this what the native did he started finding about the past of the native past of the wife and found out an affair long before marriage and on the context of that affair took a divorce now the native got married again and now he is suffering in his marital life so when you will listen to such a story when you will come across this person when you will listen to his past you will say that why he have done that this was such a mere small issue just having some affair before marriage is not a big issue is specifically in that case where the native himself is having multiple affairs before marriage as well this is completely born out of an intelligence lack of intelligence this is what specifically the ascendant gives so when the ascendant and ascendant lord is weak you will see many such instances are there when you listen to their past you will see multiple such self detrimental self sabotaging foolish decisions are taken which con foolish decisions are taken which contributes to the suffering of the native this is without any doubt so those who are having a weak ascendant why i am telling you this in this much detail because those who are having a weak ascendant should avoid making such decisions and because you are having such a weak ascendant you don't know what to do you should ask an advice from someone who is having a powerful ascendant if not then you should take astrological help one more point is there now this intelligence you know also goes into planning sometimes people think that i will start this company i will do this i will do this venture this will happen that will happen i will become successful many people become successful also sometimes people think i will start this venture i will do this business i will do this i will do that but their planning have some problem their planning have some fault and when they go on to implement them things don't go the well they have wanted it to go and ultimately there is a failure loss of money and after loss of money and loss of time person is devastated person is broken and he have to come back to square one find a new job or many people cannot find a new job also their life goes their life takes a u turn and then everything from good happens to bad this is also a trait of a weak ascendant ascendant lord so ascendant lord will, will be weak ascendant will be afflicted right this is a differentiation house does not become weak house becomes afflicted planet becomes powerful or weak planet can become afflicted also planet can become weak also house can only become afflicted house does not become weak what is the opposite of if i am saying that house can be afflicted what is opposite of affliction you answer me in comments right i told you the planet can be powerful planet can be weak okay so powerful and weak there are two things right powerful is high weak is low in the same manner i am telling you that house can be afflicted what is opposite of affliction you answer me that in the comments let's see how many people know something about astrology and many how many people knows nothing about astrology and generally just <laughs> giving their useless opinion here and there coming back to the point now this planning that if i invest money into this i will get this return this will be a good investment i will do this i will do that this planning is also successful only when the ascendant is powerful otherwise not so if you are having a powerful ascendant certainly you should think something like that and make your life a great life you know what to do your ascendant is powerful you already know that if your ascendant is weak in that scenario whatever is your planning whatever is your idea think over it again and again make it more full proof have plan a plan b plan c plan d ready get it evaluated by someone you trust take their input and take input of multiple people specifically of those people who are having a very powerful ascendant or a very powerful ascendant and if someone is giving you advice naturally finding that there are some flaws in your idea listen to them because what will happen because planning will because ascendant is afflicted planning will also go wrong and the person is also uh, you know uh, foolish so when someone gives them good advice they fight with the person they break their friendship with the person right this is how the suffering will come so 
this should be highly avoided otherwise there will be problem in this manner multiple other significations about the ascendant is there but these are the crucial basic points that i have covered <laughs> right and other small points are there but that you can understand yourself by thinking one point is there many a times ascendant strong ascendant is also associated with more than one marriage multiple marriage a strong ascendant is also associated with that i will not say that the association is false it works in a practice but it is 50 50 50% time it works in a practice 50% time it does not work in practice then what is the differentiating point what is the 50 50 differentiating factor you see ascendant is in a strong ascendant gives you independence also a strong ascendant gives you authority also and with this independence and authority person cannot withstand others if they are doing wrong or if they are being overpowering right so primarily what i have seen a very strong ascendant ascendant lord in ascendant type of case specifically ascendant lord in ascendant ascendant lord powerful ascendant influenced by jupiter venus mercury may or may not produce this result ascendant lord powerful certainly produces this result but 50 50 case what 50 first case if the person does not marries from his free will because independence is there no powerful ascendant gives you independence so if the person have independently chosen a life partner and have married them that is love marriage there the marriage will be successful the marriage will be happy but if the person goes through an arranged marriage or if the spouse is recommended by family members or some close relative and the person marries the life partner just for the sake of marrying or under the pressure of family then a strong ascendant lord because it strongly indicates the choice of the native as well and the life partner is not according to the choice will convert the will make the marriage bad it can convert it into divorce as well point 1 secondarily in the marriage if the ascendant ascendant lord is powerful the person have a very independent nature and those who have an independent nature cannot listen to others cannot be dominated so if the life partner is more dominating in match making there is something known as varna vashya so based on this vashya principle we have to understand if the life partner tries to control this native who is having a powerful ascendant because they are having independent nature because they are having authoritative nature when life partner tries to control them marriage becomes a sore and it can break as well and the last point is you see because these people are intelligent as well ascendant lord is powerful these people are intelligent as well these people are authoritative as well so if these are not the people who can you know listen to the tortures of life partner who can you know take the tantrums of life partner or who can you know go through the manipulation of life partner or who can take the blame of the life partner you know these things are very negative of course no one should take it i believe that but some people take it now you see let me tell you a point astrology is not self help no one should take abuse is your thought of utopian world right it is very distant from reality astrology deals with reality it does not deals with your la la land right so astrologically speaking in reality many people take abuse also many people do not take abuse and astrologically we have to differentiate them and it is the ascendant powerful ascendant these people cannot take abuse so they have to make sure they don't go into an abusive relationship if the ascendant is having strong aggression traits if the ascendant you say if the seventh house is connected to mars or if the person is very aggressive because of an afflicted mars or because of a weak mars at weak mars what is happening who is aggressive weak person is aggressive those who don't have things in control want to fight goes on into you know backbiting making fake ids and doing things 
which people go who don't have many things under their control right so who don't have many things under control so native should avoid you know if the ascendant and ascendant lord is powerful you should avoid getting in relationship with those people who have abusive tendency you should avoid getting in relationship with those people relationship with those people who have anger issues and all such things otherwise there will be break in marriage and because ascendant as i told you ascendant is rajyog ascendant is a good house and ascendant is powerful so it will not stop at divorce only second marriage more than one marriage will be there for certain for sure but for that to happen so basically to say ascendant is powerful more, more than one marriage two marriage at least is there this result works 50 50 it will only happen when the marriage is not done by the choice when the life partner tries to dominate you or when there is abuse in marriage a strong ascendant ascendant lord will break the marriage and because a strong ascendant and ascendant lord gives good result it will give you second marriage as well so that is a very important point also that should be considered other than that i already told you that ascendant is a kendra kona both and if ascendant ascendant lord is powerful raj yoga is already there other than that one additional point that is there is you know if the ascendant and ascendant lord is powerful wealth is also enough there is no scarcity of wealth in the life of the native at all if ascendant is powerful because the person as i told you na person is independent person is authoritative person is successful and i defined you success also as whatever you think success is a concept you think having good money is success some one thing having professional authority is success some one thing having fame is success ascendant gives you that so if the ascendant is powerful and a person believes that success is money they will have enough amount of money as well because they are destined to become successful also because i told you that the person will be authoritative and independent when someone becomes authoritative when they are provider in the family to become provider in family wealth is needed right so authority person will be independent independent means person can go anywhere person can do anything person can purchase anything and to do this wealth is needed so powerful ascendant does not only give you raj yoga as well but it gives you good amount of dhan yoga as well at least you have that much amount of money that is sufficient for yourself i define it as a powerful ascendant lord will give you enough money to meet your expenses enough money to meet your necessities enough money to fulfill your desires and even after that you will be able to save little bit amount of money whatever your wish and desire is there in life that will be fulfilled if ascendant and ascendant lord is powerful ascendant is the most crucial and most important house of the horoscope and the analysis of ascendant should not be done lightly because right from the concept of whether the person will be successful will be able to achieve something or his life will be a complete story of misery suffering losses setbacks from this point to the point of whether the native will whether the native will listen to the advice of the astrologer whether the native will be able to implement the advice of the astrologer whether he will take the good advice seriously or after the consultation he will sit with his friends drink alcohol spend the night go well, home late in night will fight with their life partner will sleep next day they will wake up take drugs and spend their life like this only until and unless they are completely broke is also dependent on the ascendant so this house is very crucial and you cannot analyze it without seriousness so this is something that you should do without a proper analysis of ascendant the analysis of horoscope is half is not useful 